Hi everybody. Um, I was a very bad girl online uh, about two weeks ago and had recently just received these stamps in the mail and thought that I would make a little something out of it and show you what they are. This is such a cute stamp by Whippersnaps. I love it. It's adorable. It's a little kitty cat with a flower pot. He's so cute. I stamped him with stays on ink and used colored markers and some stickles in the end on the collar and the flower for a little bit of bling. This stamp is so beautiful. I can't even tell you how versatile it is. I mean, I, I've used it just the flower by itself and then the whole entire, I'm sorry, just the petal by itself and then the entire flower in many different ways. The happy birthday stamp is Heidi Swap. And this very cute little stamp was just a daisy. I stamped daisies all over the place and uh, colored that in. And I, I had used uh, some colored pencils and markers together with stickles again as always. Very pretty little note card. This is so beautiful. Um, this is um, a stamp but there's actually no maker on the stamp background so I couldn't tell you who it is. But it was on sale and I really didn't expect it to look this good. It came out so very beautiful. In fact, um, I had just finished another card. Here it is. Um, so I can show you. I just want to make it a little clearer. I kind of smudged it up on top with the stickles, if you can see that. So I might just wind up cutting that out and using it with something else. So, and then getting back to this other little cutie stamp over here. Um, that's also another Whippersnap stamp. Just came out. Very cute. It's adorable. Now that I have it, I hope I can have some use out of it because it was it was cute and it wasn't so fun to color, but in the end it came out really cute. I made it like a little 3x3 three three, um, card. Another Whippersnap card. Absolutely precious. This is such an adorable little bunny rabbit. I love him. He is so cute. Um, again, the Whippersnap designs. That was just stays on ink and just regular um, colored pencils. And at the very bottom, I just brushed the page with some green um, colored chalk ink. Very cute little note card. These are all note cards. There's nothing in there. Um, this cute little pumpkin here was also on sale. I figured, well, you know what? I might as well get this now for October and November. So he was really cute. Oh, these two were adorable. They were a little complicated in the coloring part because of the mixing of the mouse. So I wound up buying a blender pen and my second time around worked out pretty good. So that was very cute. This card, this, I was really surprised to tell you the truth. Um, I, I didn't think that this stamp was going to look so beautiful. And it really, I stamped the, this portrait stamp um, on an eggshell colored cardstock paper. And I didn't have any kind of antiquing ink like from Tim Holtz or anything. So I kind of just really lightly brushed my cat's eye chalk ink all around it and then used a blender pen for like the lips and all and I tried to age it somewhat. Tassie, I had gotten this idea from you with one of the cards you did which I thought was beautiful as all of your work. And what I had done was I stuck it down to a, a brown piece of cardstock and edged around it with like a burgundy colored ink and just um, glued down a piece of lace just to kind of give it that little bit of vintage kind of look and I'm into that Victorian style with many other things I try to incorporate it in the card with this one and here's another one where I if you can see I'll try to get closer here um, what I used was a button way up on top it's a burgundy flower and then I kept stamping a peach colored daisy flower until the edges got all brown around it and stuck the daisy button in the middle and cut the back off and used some um, little um, stickers on the back to, to stick it on. And overall it came out very beautiful. I love this one. I think it's really great. I'm, I'm going to be making some um, 
tags with my cars. I'm going to really do it up on some antiquing. In fact, um, I got some more supplies today, so I'm hoping to show you some more interesting items. However, this is really it for now, and just wanted to give you a little glance on what I've been up to. There's a pumpkin. And um, I hope that all is well with all of you, and that you like what I've made. And um, I hope to see be seeing you all in another video very soon. Okay, have a great day all. Bye.